I say it's slow enough. Let's back in and connect, dude. Well, let's wait. We got meat hole right there. I don't want to back in and he's between my trailer. So I'm going to have some patience. I'm going to let him get out of that dangerous area before I back in because I don't want to, you know. Nothing's going to happen, but still, it's just out of courtesy, right? Let's just, uh, let's just wait for him to get out of there. You see that? You see that? Yeah. Okay, we're connected. Let's go do a circle check. Well, I pretty much already did a circle check. I just got to take photos and... You know, landing gear, get my lines in there. Let's check the fifth wheel right now, though. We can do that. We can do that on camera. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so important tip. When you go under the trailer, make sure that your landing gear legs are down. Because if they're up, the brakes could settle which could lower the whole unit and you're down there and you can get hurt. So before you go under there, make sure you got some support from the landing gear, all right? Let's go. back up to the Bay Area. This is the seventh day on the job, so I'm maxing out my paycheck. I'm gonna get a fat check this week, or next week when it hits my account. So I'm gonna take some photos. I'm gonna do a photo shoot of the trailer, fuel up and head out. I really gotta start fueling up at the end of the shift. During the day, man, there's a line out here, like another DMV, dude. At this distribution center, we fuel up on site. We don't go to truck stops for fuel, besides death, but. Waiting game, waiting game. There's a shop right there. That's where they fix the trailers. Four hours later, Milpitas. So I gotta go in there, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whip it around and I'm gonna aim for this corner right here. Let me turn this off. That little triangle dirt thingamajig, that's where my steering tires are going to be. And I'm going to back in at an angle, just like so. Let's get out and look real quick before we do it. Just want to make sure everything is copacetic. All right, dock's open. That's where I'm going. That's where I'm going to be. Let's do it. Get her done. After this, we're back to the yard and we start our 34 hour reset. This is day seven on my paycheck. So we're making a lot of money. Just like I said, docked in, baby boy. All right. Let's do some macros. Go inside, get unloaded. I'm starving, man. I ate a sandwich like, uh, what was it? Five hours ago now, damn near. So, the store is still open. If they're not ready for me at this back door, I can always walk around to the front. Let me get my clipboard. Let me get my badge. So they're not like, who are you? Where's your badge? Right here, there's the badge. I'm a driver, leave me alone. Let's go. out here at night man lucky me huh for some reason no matter what I do even if I start in the morning I always end up working nights dude I don't know what it is they must like having me at night it's easier at night the scales are usually closed the back door is closed too right here so I'll go around the front but yeah at night the scales are usually closed um, less traffic Less CHP out. 
So I guess there is a benefit of working nighttime, you know? The Bay Area is so ghetto. I would never live over here ever again, honestly. Out of all the places you could choose, I'm good, brother. So I just spoke to someone and they said they're waiting. Oh yeah, they are waiting. Cool. He wasn't lying. It's really tight on the dock right now. They usually want you to do inventory. They're doing it and I'm just staying out of the way because no matter where I stand, I'm just really in this guy's way. So sometimes it's better just to back off, let them do their thing. Look at all this trash that Walmart has. It looks like the truck didn't show up today. This is cardboard, but uh, look at all that. See what happens when a truck doesn't show up? Shit just piles up, doesn't it? The pallets too, look. This is sitting on a load of pallets right here. All right, we're unloaded. Now it's time to go back to Bakersfield. That's gonna be about like a three and a half hour gig, maybe even four. I got time. And here's something I wanna say that I said in a YouTube short right now. If you're gonna leave a comment, read your comment before you post it on YouTube. Because what I see a lot is in the comment section, especially folks who wanna talk trash, they can't form a proper sentence. You know what I mean. If you read some of these comments, it's like, dude, do we need to go back to elementary school? Come on now. Let's go. Let's send the macro out. Boom. Look, I filled it out before I even got in the truck. We're in the Bay, baby. We're in the Bay Area. Now we're going all the way back to the middle of the state. Isn't that crazy? I'm in the Bay and I'm gonna go back to the middle, right? I think Bakersfield isn't the middle. I think the middle is Fresno. Bakersfield, if you really look at the state, Bakersfield is already Southern California, right? But that's where we're going, let's go. All right, right here in Santanella. How much time I got? Oh yeah, we'll get back to the yard. It's about, what, two and a half hours out from the yard. Start my 34 hour reset. Man, I'm gonna get a fat paycheck. This, uh, this coming pay period feels good, dude. Real good. I left my headlights on. I'm gonna run in the store real quick. Yeah, it feels good knowing that you put in a lot of work and you're gonna get a fat check. And I can't wait until fat check means like $2,500 instead of just like 15 to 1800 a week or whatever when you run seven, seven hours. I mean, seven hours, seven days straight, you know? Burger King's closed. I remember last time I spent the night at this drug stop, it was a bad experience. Yeah, they got a gym here, right there in that door, there's a gym. I used the gym and I went to try to go buy a shower and they weren't selling showers for the night. For pretty much no reason, dude, so beware of that. Yeah, that was the, that was the asshole that didn't sell me the shower right there. I guess the janitor wasn't in, and there was literally only three hours until they get there. I was so pissed. Because there was no way I was going to go to sleep sweaty like that. They could have at least let one shower go, right? So that, that's the thing about living out of the truck. Little things like that can ruin your night, man. Because I'm not the type of guy that can sleep all sweaty and nasty like that. Even if I didn't work out... After you work all day, man, no matter what you do, you're a man. You stink. You need to take a shower. Yeah, dude, there's some people in trucking. It's a big thing that a lot of guys don't take showers. You could usually tell just by looking at them like, ugh. You look like one of those guys who stink. Not me, man.
All right, so I'm parking this trailer in between two trailers. So let's get out and look. All right, so as you can see, I'm in there right now. We're gonna check the blind side, the side that I can't see from the cab because of this bend right here. All right. So I might have to do a pull up. But as I get closer, you know, I might still be able to make it. I'll scoot, I'll scoot it in more and I'll get out and look again. I think I might though. Let's get out and look again. Looks like we're getting close, but we got a good gap as you can see. I think I'm gonna make it. Let's go inside. Ugh. Yeah, it looks tight, but I got it, dude. It'll bend around the corner. No one likes parking between two trailers like that in a tight yard, right? What makes it tight is you don't have a lot of room up front. If these trailers weren't there, I could scoot all the way up and just straight line the back. So they're right there. So I got to come at it from a 45. Okay, so I fixed the bend. Now I'm straight. I'm straight on both sides. As you can see, so now I'm just gonna straight line back. That's the final result, parked. Let's get off of the kingpin. Go to reverse. Do a little bit of gas. Back on the brake. Neutral. Oh. Man. Parking can suck sometimes when you gotta go between two trailers. Let's drop it. It's busy. We got trucks all around here. We got someone else parking too. See him? I was just doing that, man. No thank you. So you check it out. He has it worse. He's parking right there. If I could zoom in. See, he gave up on it. It was too hard because you got that truck popped out right there. It's like that, man. Let's go scan the paperwork and end the night, you know? They got us parking kind of crooked so we could fit more trucks. Let's turn this off. Let's kill the lights. Here's the paperwork that I scanned in. This is the bill of lading. It has the, uh, the pallet layout inside the trailer that got unloaded with your weight. Total weight. So I hauled um, 33,348.52 pounds tonight. And I had a total of 1,695 cases. This went up to Milpitas, California from Shafter. You know what I'm saying? So we got some good miles in. I'm gonna scan this paperwork in. That way the office gets it and I get paid. And then I'm gonna go on sleeper berth and start my 34 hour reset. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked what you saw in this video, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And that was seven days straight. I worked seven days straight this week on the same pay period. So I'm gonna get a fat check. I'm gonna try to do that again next week. And I'm gonna start my 34 hour reset right now. Thanks for watching, man. Y'all have a good one.